Hello everyone, this is a no save, no damage playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake. We're playing Claire's second scenario on hardcore difficulty. Please enjoy. Resident Evil 2 I'm almost there. You know me, I'll be fine. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. <laughs> Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? What the? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire! Claire, are you okay? I'm all right. How about you? you can't stay here. It's not safe. Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! <sighs> Leon, I'm sure you beat me here. So, in every second scenario, or B scenario as they called it in the older games, we start off in the back of the RPD. This guy does have all cutscenes. I'll be right there. Okay. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know. Just surviving. That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Claire, you need to go. Now! Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. So as soon as the cutscene ends, we're gonna hold right. So that we don't get bit right away. And then we're gonna head over to this supply room at the bottom of the stairs. We're gonna go ahead and collect everything in this room. Now, don't think that you need to keep this grenade that Claire has. If the area is a little too scattered and the zombies seem to be a little too bunched up, don't worry about throwing it. Thank you. 
So if you can tell, I have on Claire's OG 1998 costume. It's not that I don't like the costume they chose for her in this game as a like the OG's costume, but I kind of wanted to see like the turtleneck, so I uh, made sure I had it on for this. So we're going to go ahead and just lead this guy into this conference room over here. And then we're going to wait for him to bash the door in, and we're going to use the rest of this handgun on him. So as we know, Claire's weapons are not the best. I'm talking about the handguns we start off with. The One Action Army, as well as her SLS. Really because of their reload speed, not their DPS. As you can see, they do a considerable amount of damage through zombies. They have uh, strong piercing capabilities, but other than that, they're uh, pretty shitty to reload. So we're going to go ahead and put away the flame rounds, the heavy grade gunpowder, readjust our thing, and we're going to put away the SLS because we don't need it until much later in the game. So we're going to basically use this revolver for the remainder of the game as Claire. Since Leon in his second scenario gets a special handgun, so does Claire. This one, like I said, just has a bit of a slow reload speed. We're going to use the doorway to our advantage and we're going to kneecap these zombies. We also want to grab the weapons locker key that's located in the art room. everything we can when we enter this room. We're going to board up that window. Keep an eye on where this zombie is. Pretty lucky, and the zombie basically. I don't know if he's out of HP, he's completely dead, or he just went down, but since we don't have a bunch of room, we're gonna go ahead and put the fuse inside of the box right now. One thing to note on second or B scenarios is that there are less item boxes, so we just have to deliberate a little bit better on item management.
not part of the rescue squad. We want to make sure we walk in this hallway now, because in the B scenario, liquors populate this hallway. use two of the boards in this hallway. You're going to want to hug the right wall so you don't bump into the liquor's head. We're going to go ahead and board up that first window. Don't worry about the second window. Realistically, this is the only window you need to board up in the B scenario since we're not going to be coming down this hallway again. <laughs> And once we use the bolt cutters here, this is kind of how we're going to travel through this area. Because once we unlock this door, when we come back to the RPD later on, we don't have to worry about going down that dangerous hallway. is the only necessary one that has some of the handgun ammo. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the grenade launcher and the flame rounds. And it's going to be our best friend for most of the game. office. There's a little bit of handgun ammo in there. We want to get the side pack that's in here. The code is 9157. flame rounds as you saw and then we're gonna just pop the female zombie so that we don't have to worry about her later on now that you could hear that zombie as he plummets and smacks his head what the heck is he doing I was trying over here to aim and uh, try to pop him through the stairs but it's not worth it because we'll miss a couple shots we're going to go ahead and put in CAP for cap. Grab some flame rounds. Some more flame rounds right over here. And then we're going to go ahead and put the valve to stop the steam. Now we're going to grab the flame rounds here, but again, just like in Leon's playthrough, we're not going to go down that hallway yet because we'll activate Mr. X, and we definitely don't want that just yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
so we'll grab that ammo right now for the machine gun, which we don't need until later. And we're also going to go ahead and grab the club key. There are a couple doors that require it inside of the RPD. Fun fact, which most people do know now, is that the RPD is, and once was, a museum. So I went ahead and I put the detonator shell on the Semtex. We're going to leave it there for now, so that we have a little bit better space in our inventory. And in the B scenario, we have the grenade launcher already, so we're going to go ahead and take care of all of these zombies in the library right now. This is going to be children, scale, worm. And again, they vary on the first scenario and second scenario. They're different codes. I try to kneecap Marvin from up top, usually it works. Sometimes he moves out of the uh, camera. But if we could take him out, it's something that will avoid us having any trouble putting the medallions in place. The best way to take out a zombie is to aim for the knee. And then when they drop, you can finish them off. Next medallion is right here, upstairs. We got crown, fire, followed by bird. Take out the flamethrower right here. Pop the female zombie. Just run around the flames. The best thing to do is create space in games like this, especially survival horror. And uh, give yourself enough distance to make a shot. Clear out enemies that will pose a problem if you're traveling back and forth through those rooms. So now we're going to go ahead and combine the statue with the book. And once we get the scepter, when we put this item in place, a liquor is going to drop down from the sunroof. So make sure you do not run, and you slowly walk out of the room. So now we're going to make our way to the STARS office. Oh. 
So the reason we stopped at the item box there is we wanted to make enough room so that we could pick up the stuff that will be inside of the star's office. Now the zombie that face planted head first is now in the corner, so we're going to treat him to a good time with our uh, really slow moving handgun. If we were standing off at a duel, in a duel like it was cowboy times, we would get ruined. Jesus, stay back! Combine the red jewel with the jewelry box that we picked up before in the showers. And now we have the stars badge. That's Leon basically telling us, yeah, this place is fuck. Let's get out of here. The RPD is no good. And the cool thing about the second scenario is that you get the special weapon really early in the game. So in Claire's instance, it's the machine gun. Make sure you take the USB drive with you so we can get the uh, upgrade for the machine gun. with the detonator and then get the hell away from it. We're going to run back into the library, reset the room so that the bookshelf to our left does not fall down and block our path out. Especially with Mr. X running around. Definitely don't want that. So this is going to be Ram, Harp, Bird. right on that guy's body. It's always good to have a couple of extra defense items, especially in a run like this. And now with Mr. X chasing us, we always want him behind us. We're going to go ahead and put the last medallion in. And just as discussed before, when you hit the elevator button, Mr. X will despawn from RPD-1. And this is going to lead into our first boss fight.
So the reason we want to go all the way to the basement of this area is there is a hand grenade. We absolutely need hand grenades in Claire's run. Flash grenades, uh, you don't really need. Like, they're not required for the final boss, so... Definitely want to make sure that you keep hand grenades, though. Once we get the silencer for the machine gun, we're going to go ahead and leave the RPD badge in there. It's no longer useful. Hello? 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 Hey. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? Oh, oh God. this fight starts, what I like to do is that 120 FPS, it's not that you're dealing more damage to him, you're just getting more swings through. So I start off by knifing him with that knife that we picked up, because actually Claire does not start off with a knife. This does not count as damage, what happens is you get a chance with a defense weapon to avoid damage. And then basically we're just going to play Ring Around the Rosy with our guy Billy over here. Billy Burke. And whenever his eyeball pops out, we're going to pop him. And we're basically going to do that and run around, try to keep our distance, let him lunge and swing, you know, whole nine yards of a tantrum. Line our gun up with the eye. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. So before we head up the ladder, we want to go ahead and collect any handgun ammo we could find, or grenades, or anything along those lines. 
There are there is a green herb and a red herb down here. I don't believe there is a blue one though. to see her again soon. So, where's your dad? He, um... Worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Need a key card. One. Here, come out. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl to leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. Sherry, tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie. Her. Okay then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck her. Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry? Come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go, oh, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! Get you, you fucker! Stay safe, Sherry. Okay. Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Good old 
creep chief iron starting in again. We'll have to fix that. First off, we're going to go into the shooting range and grab some flame rounds. As you saw, we just want to make sure that we walk in that hallway with the liquors. We don't want to get them aggravated or we will get severely hurt. There's a flash grenade right there. I like to push the zombie back in the morgue just in case he wakes up. Once we go ahead and pull this one out. And scare us. Lit him with a flame round. part of the stairs right here, completely avoid the liquor's claws, and we're not gonna run when we leave this room because there's a liquor on the ceiling to the right. We're just gonna walk our way back to the parking garage. Must be where that guy came from. Go ahead and grab the shoulder stock for the grenade launcher, but we're not going to equip that till much later. We're going to combine those two to make some more machine gun ammo, and we're going to power the elevator. taxidermy room the chief has. I mean, everything this guy does is weird. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the heart key from the picture. some flash grenade, and before we go any further, we're going to go all the way down to the basement of here, because there is some special grade gunpowder in the locker, and we're going to need to board up a window, that's why we took the wooden board. We're going to go ahead and use the heart key, there's nothing in here of importance, but that way we use it so we can get rid of it.
Now the zombies were spread out in weird areas. They, that guy usually is chilling over by that uh, wall, but this guy, this guy, he's uh, he's throwing me for a loop over here. Just keep your distance. Hit him with a flame round. Takes them out in one shot. Head on. Keep your distance, because while they're falling, there still is a chance they can grab you. Before their HP depletes. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the electronic part, the knife out of the dummy. And we do not want to forget the large gear. Before we go ahead, I decided to go back to the save chest that's right down these stairs and put some things away just so that we have a little bit of extra room if we want to pick anything up along the way. Especially since there aren't many save chests for a while, they're kind of spread out. We just want to make sure we have a little bit of open inventory. zombie girl to give her random yell and once she croaks we're gonna go ahead and run for the water valve now there's a zombie getting up right now don't worry about him you could kind of just run right past him and he'll never catch up starts to get close, we're going to make a U-shape, and we're going to make sure he's behind us. And by doing so, we'd never have to worry about getting punched in the mouth. Because trust me, I have multiple times. So again, we're not going to cut through the left hallway, as I said. We're going to come right over here through where the safe was. You call it Leon's room. Now we're going to walk as we leave the west office room because there's a liquor. As soon as we backtrack right here, we could use the heart key. Now we can get rid of it. Here's the pump jack for the library, as well as a hand grenade. And Mr. X is literally right here, so we're going to run around the archive room, and we're going to make our way to the library. Pump jack in, we're gonna move all four of those library shelves over to make a path for the third floor. Mr. X, too slow, baby! We're gonna go ahead and line up a shot of the flame round with that guy. 
this guy sometimes comes around the corner fast. Take a couple steps up just in case he comes up while he's still on fire and bites you. We just want to keep an eye if Mr. X is in the hallway. Place the large gear over here. Before we leave the clock room, we're going to run back to this half hallway, grab the large gunpowder. It's going to be used to make some acid rounds a little bit later on. Absolutely want to have a bunch of acid rounds for the G3 fight. And we definitely don't want to forget the electric part. And now, you could go either way, depending on which way Mr. X is. Right now, he isn't really anywhere. So, we're just going to cut back through this room and head right back to Chief Iron's office. So, this leads right to that room that we grabbed the knife and the first electric part. We'll get to the Chief's room. And then it's time to play as Sherry Birkin. Hello? Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her... Stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing, I could let you go. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. There has to be a way out of here. So once we take over as Sherry, we're going to grab that creepy doll. Go ahead and examine it. We're going to place the block and then move it to the third spot. 
Then just fill out all the shapes, make sure they all match. Chester Cheeto and Jeffrey the Giraffe staring into our souls. The Sherry segment is pretty straightforward. We're going to make sure that we hide from the Chief. <laughs> Sherry combusted. She was trying to jump through the window, but jumped down. Sherry, I told you to stay put. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. Uh. Ah! Oh! You little bitch. You're going to pay for this. Oh, you little shit. You hear me? Chief, he's looking like Two Face. We're gonna just go ahead and head right upstairs. Sorry. Go away! Help! Somebody, please! You stupid bitch! That's a dead end. And now for the remainder of this, we're just going to hide behind all of these dressers. Go around the chief and then grab his keys. It's all over now. Doors locked. Where are you? Show yourself. I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be. he trips and uh, falls on his shoelace, we're gonna make a run for it, and we're gonna hide under the table middle right. So 
now we're just going to make a run for it. We're not going to hit the main door of the orphanage. We're going to run back exactly where we came from before. Where the chief got the acid thrown in his face by Sherry. I'm coming in, Sherry! Get over here, you little bitch! Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. What are you talking about? Don't waste my fucking time! Bring me the pendant, or Sherry dies. The pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Are you serious? Damn it. Just you wait, asshole. So, once we resume control of Claire, we're going to put some things away. Now, you can use that handgun I was talking about, the quick draw. That was my first instinct. And then I said, you know what, this gun is terrible. We're just going to go ahead and use the machine gun here. So go ahead and take out the machine gun. And some machine gun ammo. And we're going to use that to take out the zombie dogs on our way to the orphanage. We're also going to take one flash grenade. shop is, but we're not going to go through there. We're actually going to cut through the gate before it. <laughs> Why did Claire yell like that? I didn't even notice that when I was recording this. I've never heard that dialogue before. That's Kendo's shack right there. And then the lovely pharmaceutical company. That's actually the first time I've ever heard her do that. But anyway, there's the orphanage. That's where we have to get to. We're gonna go ahead and take out Misty's leg. I can do this. It's just so funny that any zombie they decide to put there, they put Misty. Now, there's going to be a bunch of zombie dogs here. Just take your time, create space. And you don't have to pour into them. Just make sure you use enough ammo to take them out. There 
is a zombie dog on the other side of this fence, so... He seems to be literally invincible. On the bench to the right, before we proceed, there is submachine gun ammo as well as a green herb. leg or stun him and we've made it to the raccoon That's city the orphanage, orphanage. <laughs> hang on sherry Before we go ahead and progress the story, we're going to come upstairs. Sherry? Sherry, are you here? There is some submachine gun ammo in the laundry basket in the bathroom, as well as a file, and I believe there is a first aid spray somewhere in here. Yeah, right over there. There also is a Mr. Raccoon, which is on the shelf to the left. Not that we're collecting them in this run, but it, there is one in here. was he doing to that bat? I had noticed that when I was playing it. I was like, what the heck? Sherry! Where are you? Clear! Sherry! I'll be right there! The chief is a wacko. Thank God he's dead. Go, go, go! So now we're gonna make our way... It's behind you! Don't stop! ...to the elevator. And then we'll be starting the sewers. Keep going. Sherry, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Hold still. I'm not infected. What the? Sherry? Where's Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. 
What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who's, who is that? The creature responsible for this. What? Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the machine gun ammo right over there. Sherry's daughter. And now we're grabbing some magnum ammo. So we're going to use that really, really bad handgun that Claire starts with the SLS, but it actually turns kind of good when we can make it a magnum. I like to have a self-defense weapon with me here, just to be safe. So we'll take the SLS, we'll put away the rocket launcher for now. Grenade launcher, I mean. We do want a flash grenade, though. I think I realize it here. Because there's going to be the instance at the overlook in the sewer area where we're going to want to just chalk one. Sherry? Can you hear me? Uh, now I'm going to smell like shit. Literally. Some special grade gunpowder right there. Once we come up this ladder, what I was talking about just a minute ago is there are three zombies laid out in this room. We want the flash grenade for that reason. We want to make sure we have it equipped. We're going to run to the back glass. We're going to wait for the zombie on the right to get up too. If they start getting close, throw a flash grenade. There is, I think, a singular flame around there, which is better than none. And then we're going to use this locker. It is S Z F. And that'll give us some more machine gun ammo. And then we'll drop down. What is this? Sherry, I told you I cannot leave huh? here until my work is done. That's what you always say. Sherry? Why didn't you stay in the house? It was safe there. Hey, Sherry! Uh, I was scared. Those things were everywhere, and... You should have called the police. That's what we taught you. Uh, I did, but nobody came, and you didn't answer your phone, so... Sherry, uh, I don't have time for this. Uh, 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 oh, no. Sherry! Sherry, I'm coming! Hold on, Sherry. I'll be right there. Just put away the machine gun ammo, the flame round, the gunpowder. And now we're going to get the magnum attachment for the SLS. Funny enough, a lot of RE2 Remake actually has mixtures of RE2 1998 as well as Resident Evil 1.5. And if you don't believe me, just uh, emulate the game and uh, play through it. The people that have uh, put it together from the 40% build that was uh, dropped, you know, when Capcom let it go back then in 97. You can see that a lot of the stuff they used in 1.5 actually translated to the remake. So this game is kind of like a baby of the both of them. So this code right here is 212.8. 
And I think that's what made the Resident Evil 2 remake even that much better, was that anything they left out they felt that was good from the 1.5, they put in here, and it just made it a really enjoyable experience. These zombies, we're going to use one single magnum shot, bop them in the head, especially the guy on the floor. Go ahead and use the handle here. We're going to get the facility key. We're not dropping down into the Oregon Trail just yet. Now we need the facility key in order to get back to the police department. And the reason we want to go back to the police department is there is a attachment for the machine gun we want, and there is some ammo for the spark shot, which is a weapon we will be getting shortly. Ammo. Definitely want that on top of the crate. Now we'll make our way back up to the second floor of the sewers. Now there is a camera roll on the right side on this table. It's called Hiding Places. We definitely need that. Jesus. Few zombies scattered over here, one hanging from the rafter. We want to make sure we headshot all of them. I decided to take the large gunpowder here because it never hurts in order to get some acid rounds later. We'll go ahead and grab the electronic part, that is the pawn. Better to take it now and put it in the inventory than have to manage the inventory by putting it in later. And that's based solely on the fact that we just don't get enough item boxes on the second playthrough. So it's just easier if we're heading to an item chest to put it in right away. So now we're going to head up to the second floor of the RPD. We're going to cut through the star's office wing in order to reach the dark room save room in order to develop the hidden places camera roll we picked up. It's just much easier to go through here in the A scenario, the B scenario, I'm sorry, than the A scenario because in the A scenario you have to walk because there's a liquor. But in the B scenario, it was just Mr. X, so we could kind of just run right through. And because we killed all of the zombies in the immediate area, we could just go right to it.
Now, I know where the locations are, but unfortunately to actually find these items, Claire has to see them for herself. our way to the RPD lobby and we're going to go back through the east hallway and inside the press conference room where we kneecap the first zombie of the game we're gonna go ahead and grab the spark shot ammo now weirdly enough the zombie that we kneecapped earlier in the lobby somehow crawled his way all the way here so I had to pop him with a magnum shot never happened before it was quite interesting And in this drawer right here, we can find the spark shot ammo. And we are done with RPD-3. We'll go ahead and get the machine gun out. We'll combine the new part that we got, which is the scope. Not the scope, I'm sorry. It is the... I'm thinking of the magnum. It is the extended clip. And we're going to go ahead and make sure we have some machine gun ammo. Go ahead and combine that. And then we'll grab the unfinished amount of magnum ammo. Uh, Machine gun ammo. I keep getting the magnum and machine gun mixed up. I don't know why. Make, go ahead and make six acid rounds just to have. We'll take the 188 machine gun rounds. We put the magnum rounds away. The worst part is, is that Claire has a magnum as well, so I'm confusing myself like double time. Usually I have the defense item there because sometimes that fine fellow down that hole, that tunnel, will be right there waiting for us. So it's always good to have a defense item because if not, you get poisoned. And now we're going to pull out the machine gun and we're going to head down to the Oregon Trail. This is where we're going to get the remaining chess pieces for the chess puzzle.
And basically we're just aiming at the eyes on these guys. Stick with the machine gun. Don't even waste any magnum ammo. It's not worth it. All we have to do is tap them to get the mag road, and we're good. There's going to be one more G-Mutant in this vicinity right here. He's going to pop right through the tunnel. We're going to take out his eye, and strategically placed, there is a zombie waiting for us over here. We're going to pop him. And in the next area, there's, instead of the one zombie hanging over the rafter, there's two. There's him hanging over the rafter, and then there's one on the floor. We're going to use a magnum shot on both. to make sure we grab the spark shot by moving around the chest pieces. Want to make sure we don't forget it like I did. We're going to put the queen piece right in here. Then go ahead and put the king plug right over here. Backtrack grab. Then move around and we now have all the plug pieces for the puzzle. If, uh, you know, the, if the characters stop rubber banding, sometimes you have to, like, aim quick just to kind of stop the characters from running back and forth. That's the one thing with the controls in this game, my only complaint, literally only complaint, is that they kind of, like, run back and forth, and the only way to stop them is to kind of quick aim. But other than that, we're, uh, we're doing golden. Now, zombies are going to start waking up here. Don't worry about them. This guy is going to lunge for us. Once he lunges, we're going to go right past. And now we're going to make our way all the way back. So for the boss fight, we're going to need two flash grenades, the machine gun, and the grenade launcher with flame rounds. Make sure you have at least three flame rounds in your possession. I mean, you can do the fight without the flame rounds, but it definitely helps take down the HP of G2. So the puzzle's reversed. The night puzzle goes in the top right, pawn in the middle. We're going to go ahead and move the bishop to the middle on the left side. Must have been looking at something real fast, and then we're going to go ahead and put the king piece on the far right, and then the queen. All right, Sheriff. Okay. On my way.
So for the switches right here, we're going to hit 2, 3, and 4. Now we're going to go like we're heading back for the door. G is going to greet us. You can hit him with a flame round if you want. I choose to kind of just wait for him. start to break on the door or the gate we're gonna run right by him he didn't do his normal stutter step that he does so we're just gonna blast him in the back with the flame rim Button, throw a flash, pull out the grenade launcher, start depleting his HP, and then we're going to unload about two or three clips of the machine gun into him. Reload that. Get him with this round. Once he gets up, we're going to pull out our second flash grenade on the ground. Switch to the flame round. We're going to finish him off with the machine gun. Once he goes down again, we'll hit the button. Have I got a surprise for you. Grab the flashbang and the knife, and that is the G2 fight. I'm so sorry, Sherry. This is taking forever. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. Are you fucking kidding me? You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him... This conversation is over! Wait! Wait! I, I can treat her. In my lab. It's not far away. <laughs> Mommy? There's not enough time. Millions of lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. Are you fucking kidding me? Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Oh, why are you doing this? Because I care. <sighs> Ned said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Hold 
on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. <sighs> oh, good. The cable car. Hold on, Sherry, okay? You're gonna be just fine. Okay, better check everything. There's no turning back. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Supposed to be lucky. I don't know what I'd do without you. Are you kidding me? You were doing just fine without me until I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. my mom for my birthday last year uh, all I really wanted was for her to be home more I know it seems like your mom doesn't care but uh, hey uh, Sherry come uh, Hang in there, okay? Now, arriving at Nest. It's okay. I've got you. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Gotta be something here. Antiviral agent. That's it. That's gotta be it. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Sherry. I gotta go. You stay right here, though, okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. So now we're in the nest, or the laboratory. And we're gonna come over to the save chest. Put away the machine gun. Flashbang. We'll keep the knife. Put away the grenade launcher. We're, this is where we want the magnum. And the magnum ammo. And we're gonna take the spark shot, because there is an upgrade up this way that we're gonna go for it. Right 
there's a grenade on the floor, but there is a zombie coming, so make sure you do it pretty quickly. Some spark shot ammo. I'm on the shelf over there, we're gonna hit the ladder. Once we drop down to the left, we have some large gunpowder and another knife. We want to make sure we have our magnum aimed as soon as this opens because, voila, finally, he proves himself on camera that he was standing there waiting for my ass. chip that I almost forgot, even though I couldn't have proceeded without it. And I like to check the doors by aiming just in case, because the zombies in this hallway could be annoying. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East Area. Now, next to the dead Umbrella sh Soldier, we have the signal modulator nice and early on inside of the lab so that allows us to just backtrack and get the extra item slot there's a side pack basically in one of the cubby areas over here that we needed the signal modulator for <laughs> see my frustrations, they are always waiting for me. We're gonna just turn the frequencies to line up with each other under the OSS frequency. to the east area. This is where we're going to see the group creatures again, the plant creatures. So either just make sure that you have a defense item on you at all times, or you hit them in the bulbs, or use a flame round, because the group creatures, if they grab you and you do not have a defense item, it is game over. It is an insta-kill. So we're going to remove some stuff that we absolutely don't need. We're going to take the grenade launcher. And the reason that I'm keeping the hand grenade in my possession is there is another hand grenade, so I'm just going to have it stack on top. High grade gunpowder right on that little shelf. Dispensing solution now. Go ahead and grab the fuel canister. 2048. Opens up the drug testing lab. Then 5831. That's going to open up the, la the hatch to the far right. 
So now that we have the greenhouse pesticide, we need to go ahead and mix it into the pesticide right now. Right now it's just a solution. And basically in the B scenario, it's just a reversal of the A scenario. So all we're going to do is blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green. So just blue, red, green three times. As I said, the best thing to do right here is basically just use the flame rounds or shoot them in the bulbs on their body. Tree-like bodies, I guess. Now, usually we wouldn't have the signal modulator till a little bit after this, but we're going to go ahead and use the last three magnum shots on these three zombies. Go ahead and turn the signal modulator to URF. And now the power is on in this area. But before we go ahead and proceed to freezing the pesticide, we want to go into the save room right here. There's a high-grade gunpowder. Made some more acid rounds. We're gonna go ahead and put the hand grenades away. The magnum is obsolete now. There's no more ammo for it. And then there is another knife right here. So it doesn't hurt to hold on to these knives for right now. It's always good to be defenseful than anything else, than risk it. So the liquor drops down from that ventilation shaft, but in the B scenario, you could just run straight from the door for the door because the power is already on. Where in the first scenario, usually you have to get the power on after the liquors come. Cooling sequence in progress. Complete. So yeah, as soon as we come out of the uh, cooling room, we're gonna walk because there are now two liquors present in the hallway. We're gonna walk directly up. You could have went to the left, but there is a Groot creature and a couple of zombies. And really the only thing that does is lead you back to the save area. And maybe give you an extra high-grade gunpowder, but it's just, it's not worth. You could just go this way. Now we have a couple of the tree monsters. Hit them with flame rounds. Flame rounds do the trick. The good thing about Claire's scenario is that Mr. X is no longer chasing you since the Mr. X that was chasing Claire and Sherry was killed by G1. So all we have to do is now grab the flashbang and put the pesticide in. Dispensing solution now. So much 
for the weed infestation. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been locked, and you may be subject... Get the level 3 chip. ...to disciplinary measures. Make our way back. Now, as soon as we go through this door, there's going to be a group straight ahead. We're going to make a quick left. And back out over here, there were two walking. Get one with the flame round. We're going to hit the second one with the flame round. And then once they are incapacitated, we are going to make a break for it. And that's just the best way to handle that area. go ahead and use the signal modulator for the last time, which is AWS. Line up the frequencies. Get rid of the flame rounds, because if you have a flame round in your gun in the G3 fight, you're as good as dead. in the G-Virus. We're going in. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work! I'm not handing over anything! We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Ah! Hold your fire! Hunk was not a happy camper. So now we're gonna make our way into this giant atrium. And probably the toughest boss battle in the game, G3. G3 has a number of different moves, jumps, dashes, swings. So he can be relatively tricky if you don't hit him in the specific spots right away. And one thing that's great about Claire is having acid rounds and having a grenade launcher, it stun locks G3 in place. Which is extremely helpful, because if you don't have your ammo equipped, you can just stun lock him in place, and yeah. So right now I'm just deliberating on what I need, and what we need is the grenade launcher, the spark shot, and the machine gun.
Go ahead and get a little bit extra acid rounds. And now all we need is the spark shot, and we are ready to roll. That's why getting the extra side pack is so important, because now we have defense items just in case G3 catastrophically jumps on us. Antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. I don't know if it's just habit, because I'm so used to doing the G3 fight right away or not, but I always like skip this cutscene, so my apologies. It basically just introduces him. So the first two things we're gonna do is shoot his back eye and his front right thigh. We're gonna switch over to the acid round. And as you can tell the acid round is golden. Hit him with a spark shot in the chest. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure our ammo is reloaded. So once the eye pops out of his leg, we gotta watch out for a slam. Gonna light up his eye. Hit him with another one. Get ourselves some space. Remember, we want to create space in a very fast-paced environment. that he either looks like he's going to swing at you or jump, just, you know, stun him. You really only need about 10 acid rounds, probably in total. Now, when he goes to grab one of these capsules, just take your time, aim, and hit him in the back with whether it's the machine gun or the acid round. Once you hit him with this spark shot, reload your machine gun gonna unload the rest of our ammo into his chest and that is uh that's basically the fight. Just finish off his HP with the machine gun. For all you who are just starting off and uh, this is your first attempt, has been neutralized. take a deep breath. If you were trying to get past G3, the good thing about Claire's run is that her final boss, or technical final boss, G4, is nowhere near as difficult as Super Tyrant that Leon fights, so as long as you follow my steps, you'll get it no problem. Gotta get back to Sherry. Help. Annette? 
Sherry. Or how are you? Okay. But you don't look so good. <sighs> Mommy? Hey, to look at the screen. <sighs> oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right? She'll be weak for a little while, but... Yes. She's free of the G-Virus. Did you hear that? What happened to her? She was attacked by the monster. Don't worry about me. My daughter uh, to safety. I'm sorry, Sherry. For everything. Your life is what is important. Uh, we can't just leave her here. You're right, we can't. Attention. Unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. What does that mean? It's a self-destruct coat. <laughs> In case the G-Virus leaves the building. Please. Save my daughter. No! Sherry. Sherry, sure, just say goodbye to your mom. Mom, please say goodbye. Please, Sherry. Listen. She loved you, okay? You really gotta get going. Come on. Right about this jacket. I'm so lucky to have you. So we can talk more about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. <laughs> Sherry, can you walk faster? Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but. We have to go. Okay, so now that we have the final level key card, we could take the elevator down to escape on the train. Let's get the, the service out. train. Until I get you out of this place. Right here, we could just go ahead and put away the knife, the machine gun. Really, all we need is the stuff in our possession. We have one more item chest that we'll hit right before the final boss fight. Now, we don't even have to waste ammo on these immediate groups because they are not awake yet. 
Sherry, run! They get up, and while they're in the middle of their animation, Claire could just skip right through, and Sherry takes no damage. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on! Sherry, what are you... I think I can open it from the other side. <sighs> God damn it, your tummy sucks. Ain't that the truth. Now we gotta just hit these guys with a couple of acid rounds. Hold off this one, and then another one drops. Basically all we're doing is holding these group creatures off until Sherry unlocks the door for us. Nine minutes until detonation. Self destruct sequence initiated. Use the simple element to evacuate. Move guy has like one HP, but you want to make sure you hit him or he will bite you. Sherry, you hanging in there? I'm right behind you. Had a girl. Think we're almost out of here. So, this is where we're going to drop off absolutely everything, except for the flash grenades, which aren't mandatory, but the grenades definitely are. So we should have a total of nine hand grenades. If you were able to keep the hand grenade in the very beginning of the game, if you remember, where we had to throw it, then you'll have the extra tenth one, but other than that, you only need nine grenades, really. Because Claire gets a minigun right now as well, so we want to make sure we have that, the grenades, and we also just want to make sure that we save enough for the G5 fight at the end of this. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. Eight minutes until detonation. working. Claire! What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out. Fast. I know. I found a way out. I think, I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon. Leon. fight is not Why based on HP, that? it's based on destroying the eyeballs inside of G4's mouth area. So we're going to use the grenades to our advantage and we're going to hug the corners of the train. Now even if this one grenade doesn't knock him off, we're going to hit him with a couple magnum shot, uh, machine gun shots. We really have a thing for the magnum, huh? Once he drops down, we're going to chuck another grenade. We want to keep our distance here, because if he decides to lunge at us, we're going to get hit pretty hard. We're going to 
does that move, we're gonna run to the opposite side of the train. He hits into the wall. Arc your grenade. Boom. Another one. That grenade was the one that did it in. I couldn't see, so I couldn't tell. Once he starts crawling up, we're just going to finish him off with the minigun. That is it for G4. We have one more step, folks. So what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Cause I take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad? Oh yeah. Claire. Leon. It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Who's this? This. This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. So now we've reached the final fight of the game, which really isn't much of one. If you've saved over 200 bullets in the minigun, that's really all you need. If you have a little bit less, I recommend taking the grenade launcher with the acid rounds and whatever you have left of your machine gun, which should be plenty. And that's realistically all you need. So the same thing applies for Leon second. We're going to wait until we run into him. all the way to the back of the train and we are going to wait until the eye comes out of the mouth in the center and once the eye comes out that's when we're going to unleash hell hope you like bullets because i got a hell of a lot more for fuck's sake how the hell are you still kicking Now at this point, you're just going to completely shoot him. Just hold the button down. Car. 
So, are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend? No, we're just. Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look, he might be able to give us a ride. <sighs> what if it's not just the city? Get Sherry out of here. Come on. Is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh, you? <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot? <laughs> I always wanted pets, but my mom's said they're too messy. Uh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. First and foremost, I just wanted to thank everybody for tuning in to this run. We are now monetized on the channel, so if you do and ever want to, you could hit the subscribe button or just follow me along as we continue to do these crazy challenges. It has been just about a full year. This is coming out in April. April 24th marks the one year anniversary of the channel, and I would not be here without all of you, my family, my friends, and everyone else. Thank you guys so much, and I hope once again you've enjoyed another Resident Evil 2 run. We've got some big things in store, and other games and franchises coming soon. This is the Notorious Base signing out for the last time into the year anniversary. We'll see you for the next one. There's two sides to every story The defeat